Hi everyone, this is Alec from Mask Audio Electronics, finally making an appearance on my own channel. There might be more videos before this one, but this is the first one we're filming for the day, so this stays in. For those of you who don't know, I have a series called Fuzz Labs, which I make little runs of whatever I want to make. I've made mojo pedals, I've made a rat with no knobs, it's whatever I want. But today, we don't have just any Fuzz Lab, we have THE Fuzz Lab. The Fuzz Lab is based upon the ultra rare Devi Ever Mega Gazer, which is based on the Devi Ever. We're not talking about you, Hand Gazer. That's another video. Which is a further modified Devi Ever Shoe Gazer, which in itself contains a Devi Ever Torn Speaker and Sodomizer. So this thing has about a million knobs and switches, so let's get Eric in here and we'll walk you through what's going on. Warning, this is the noisiest pedal you've ever purchased. It will bleed and bypass. At certain settings, it will make no noise. You've been warned. So you could split the controls for the Fuzz Lab right down the middle. On the left hand side, you have the Sodomizer. On the right hand side, you have the Torn Speaker. So let's start off with the Sodomizer. So at low gain, you kind of get your standard big muffy sound. Thick, very present in the mix. And as you turn up the gain... As you turn up the more control, it gets more compressed and you get more of an upper octave artifacting. As we move down the pedal, we have a starve knob, which does what you think it is. It lowers the amount of voltage that this side of the fuzz is receiving. So all the way down is your safe mode, getting full voltage. And as you turn it down, it gets more and more starved. <laughs> and then we get to the left hand knob, which is drone. Drone is messing everything up. It's providing resistance between all of the transistors and ground. Now you might think that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is doing in terms of circuit design, this is the worst thing you could do and we're doing it purposely. <laughs> so, as you turn up the drone knob, you get more drone. And then you could use the starve to further modify it. So then we move on to the toggle switches. We have three from mainly the noise floor pedal. We have chaos, noise, and octave. With them all down, you're in safe mode. Chaos removes an, a filter early on in the pedal, which just allows the transistors to be pummeled by more gain and more volume. Then we have the noise switch, which does exactly what you think. And 
And then finally, you have the octave switch. The octave switch switches the orientation of the last transistor, which gives it more of an upper octave artifact. This will turn the sonomizer into a vintage fuzz master. I will say here that you cannot have both noise and chaos activated at the same time. That will cause voltage to stop flowing to the first transistor and eventually your pedal will stop working. We'll do it right now because it's fun. So now we move on to the right side of the pedal, the torn speaker. It's more of a kind of spongy fuzz-storsion. <laughs> As you turn it up, you get more gain, more compression. So on this side, you have the same complement of drone and starve knobs. The starve knob in particular with the torn speaker side sounds really good. So let's get into the toggle switches. First, we have the thick switch, which just changes how much bass is going into the pedal. Down is actually a bass boost, whereas up is the stock configuration. Middle toggle switch is the sludge toggle. That changes the biasing of the different gain stages and also makes it more act like a torn speaker anima. <laughs> Lastly, we have an oscillation toggle. Some of the original torn speakers had just an oscillation toggle, and I thought it'd be fun to throw it on there. You, you could actually play. Okay.
of course, these can be combined with the drone and starp knobs. And then you can combine them together. And of course we give you an order toggle in the middle to let you choose the order. With it down, it's the classic sodomizer into Torn's Peaker setup. And then when you flip the order toggle switch up, you get Torn Speaker into Sodomizer. So for right now, this is a limited release, but if you want to check it out and find out more, please go to maskaudioelectronics.com. We'll see you in the next one.